Kids are almost finished with their schoolwork. When they get finished, me and Cece are gonna run to Ingles. We need to get some pecan halves, butter, and shells. I almost forgot again what the third thing was. I need to make a list. So I already did my Walmart grocery order this week, but they didn't have pecan halves, they didn't have jumbo shells, and they didn't have great value butter. They had Land O'Lakes, but Land O'Lakes, we say it quick, Land O'Lakes. They had that, but I decided just to wait since I was gonna have to go to Ingles to get the pecan halves anyway, and I need some jumbo shells for the slow cooker stuffed shells night. So here in just a minute, we're gonna go to Ingles. I hope they have pecan halves. If not, we're gonna have to go on a pecan halves search. Dessert candles, this is a chocolate and I'm assuming strawberry, yep. Strawberry, those are so cute. Pecan halves, Laura Lynn. I think I need two bags, y'all. We need a pecan tree is what we need. We're back home and we're about to make some candied pecans. So Sissy's making cookies for her recipe for the baking contest and she wants some candied pecans that she's gonna like crumble up and put on the top. So we're gonna go ahead and make these today. That way they're done and ready for tomorrow. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make two pounds of these pecans. They have an adult baking contest and a youth contest at the fair. So Sissy wants me to enter the adult one so we can do the baking contest together. And if I do, I'm gonna use these candied pecans in the crust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make both pounds. And we'll see, I might make a pie. I'm not good at contest things, but since Sissy wants me to, I'll probably make a pie this year. She's seen me do these a bunch of times, but we're both gonna make them together since we're both gonna be using them for our recipes. And yeah, like I was saying in the store, just need some pecan trees. When I was a little girl, there was a pecan tree right up the road. And mama used to take us up there and we would all get out and just go around picking up the pecans that fell from the tree. We had this little tool that we called, when we were kids, we called it the pecan picker up, or I'm not really sure of the you know, exact name for it. But we only had one, so we would all be wanting to turn with the pecan picker upper. So I'll have the original recipe down below for y'all for one pound of pecans. Since we're using two pounds, I need two egg whites, and I'm gonna get a little jar to put my yolks in. We'll just add those to some scrambled eggs in the morning. Now we need two tablespoons of water, and I think I left my little tablespoon. Yep, I left it in the coffee. Two tablespoons of water. You can go ahead and start whisking that, Sissy. While she's whisking that, I'm gonna go ahead and get two teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of salt, and two cups of sugar together. Cece's whisking the sugar and the salt. I'm gonna go ahead and pour both pounds of pecan halves in here. And I'm just gonna go to the bottom and fold these pecans around, making sure to coat all of them as best I can with the egg white mixture. Mama always made these candy pecans at Christmas time, and so for the longest time, that was the only time we ever had them, was at Christmas. Okay, you wanna fold these some? Okay, go ahead. I'll whisk this. 
Now I'm gonna pour in some of the sugar mixture, not quite all of it, just so we can get it mixed really good. Coat these pecans. Oh, it smells like a holiday. These candied pecans make great homemade gifts too, y'all. Pour some into a mason jar when they're done. Tie a little bow around it. Merry Christmas. Anybody, well, anybody who likes pecans would be very happy to get that for a Christmas gift. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna pour in the rest. Okay, so what we're gonna do is pour this onto this baking sheet. I might have to get another one because they may not all fit on here because you want it to be a single layer. You don't want them to be all on top of each other. So we're gonna put them in the oven for 15 minutes at 250. Take them out, stir them around, put them back in for 15 more minutes, and repeat that two more times. So they're gonna stay in for a full, an hour total. But every 15 minutes, you take them out and stir them around. It's time to cook supper now. We're gonna make the manna sandwiches tonight. So the first thing we need to do is make the sauce because it needs to already, you know, have time to sit for a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and make that and stick it in the refrigerator. We're starting with half a cup of mayonnaise, a fourth of a cup of Catalina salad dressing. It reminds me a little bit of French dressing. So we just need about a fourth of a cup, two and a half tablespoons of ketchup. And yes, I was right yesterday. We were almost out of ketchup. I'm glad I ordered some. Two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard. Hey Tyler, can you come open this for me? I cannot get this open. Open. Okay, I got open. Open. Did you get it? Yeah. Good job. You loosened it for him, didn't you? Two tablespoons and two tablespoons of sugar. While Sissy's putting that in, I'm gonna go ahead and put up the dressing and mustard. Now, I'm gonna leave the ketchup out because I'm gonna make tater tots to go with these. And I just might make a salad so I can try that Catalina dressing. It's been years, years and years since I've had Catalina dressing. All right, so when you get that done, Sissy, we're just gonna put the lid on it and stick it in the refrigerator. Is this the right lid? Yeah, there you go. I was trying to decide if I wanna make these on the Blackstone or if I just wanna make them in here. I'll just cook them in here since I just got the black stone cleaned back up we'll just cook them in here tonight because also I'm gonna stick the sandwiches in the oven and really melt that cheese on top under the broiler I think anyway so yeah we'll just do it in here let's get the iron skillet so we're gonna start the ground beef in the skillet and then we're gonna chop up an onion I have got to stop watching diners drive-ins and dice clips on YouTube in the night I saw one that was like a loaded baked potato. They had cheese, onions, sour cream. It looked like baked beans, brisket, and then a grilled pepper on top. I did go to the refrigerator and get me one of those little fruit cups with the bubble fruit in it. Oh, this was about almost three pounds of ground beef. I have some more over here that I'm gonna put in the freezer that was in that pack. Are y'all building a club? All right, y'all, the ground beef is done. We drained it. Now we're gonna put in a fourth of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. Now we need a tablespoon of dried parsley, a teaspoon and a half of dried basil, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. smells good. Alright, while that's simmering, we're gonna get the hoagie rolls ready. I've got the oven on broil. We have some sliced Swiss cheese, and I'm just putting two just like that on each roll. Now, things are gonna go under the broiler just long enough to melt the cheese. I am now gonna spread on the sauce. Uh, you can do this before you put the cheese on, which is actually what I was supposed to do, but I forgot, so you can do it now. Just spread it right on there. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna put the sauce on all of them just in case the kids don't like the sauce. We'll leave it off and they can choose to put it on if they want to. Now we put the meat in and that's it. It's really good. 
good. Yeah, it's. I was very surprised. 